Hello and welcome to my guide for recording DAISY standalone 060 with OBS Studio as an alternative for NVIDIA Shadowplay. With the release of the first iteration of the Infusion Renderer with 060, there have been some problems with recording any DAISY gameplay through NVIDIA Shadowplay. Since I record all my gameplay during my streams, I started looking for an alternative for Shadowplay that also uses the built-in encoder of my GTX 970 graphics card. Since OBS Studio allows me to separate my microphone audio from my game audio, similar to how the story does this, and allows me to record gameplay through my graphics card, this is the software I would recommend for recording Daisy standalone currently. You can download OBS Studio for free through the website. For that, I'll leave a link in the description. Now, this might be a bit obvious, but I'm going to mention this anyway. For this to work, you need an NVIDIA graphics card with a built-in video encoder. Pretty sure that's any desktop GTX 660 or above. Right. Let's get started. So there's a certain number of settings which I like to run in order for everything to show up correctly for the stream in OBS, but also to be able to record it correctly for OBS Studio. Most important thing has to be that we have to keep the user interface at windowed mode, the resolution. Uh, if we don't do this, uh, it will not show up in the stream um, unless we disable anti-aliasing. And I personally really enjoy using anti-aliasing and think I like to game I like to have my game look good. And especially when you're recording footage for YouTube, having high quality recordings is important. So anti-aliasing is important. I run it at normal. I use all trees plus grass. You can use Arrowhead all trees plus grass. If you would like trees not to be as full and lush, this might give you a little bit of an edge PVP wise, but I prefer the look of all trees plus grass over the Arrowhead one with SMAA normal. I do not recommend and uh, recommend FXAA. Um, and in general, keep your re uh, render resolution up to 100% and VSync disabled. If you've set it up this way, um, you're good to go for OBS Studio. Um, but of course, in order for everything to work properly, you need to set up OBS Studio as well. So let's take a look. So here in OBS Studio, we're going to start off with adding a scene. Right click here in Scenes, click Add, and then you're going to name it however you want. I'm going to call mine Display, press OK. Same thing with Sources, right click in Sources, Add, and then Add a Display Capture. Press OK, make sure the right display is chosen. Enable capture cursor, press OK. All right, we've set up the scenes and the sources, but now we're gonna have to set up our settings. So click on settings, and we're gonna leave general and stream alone for now. Go to output, and this is how it's going to be looking for you. It's just gonna be saying output mode simple with limited options. You're gonna have to set this to advanced first. Now, we're not streaming with the software, so leave that alone. We're going to recording. And we're going to start off with setting a recording path. This is pretty self-explanatory. Just where do you want your files to save? Just set up a nice folder for this and you're good to go. Recording format definitely has to be MP4. Some of these formats don't support multiple track audio recording. MP4 does. So in order for this to work and for you to be able to um, record in different tracks, you have to set it to MP4. Now we've got audio track one, two, three, and four. This pretty much tells OBS which of the selected tracks will be outputted into the file. Um, we end up uh, outputting our mic and desktop audio. So we want two and four enabled for now. I'm gonna show you later how we're gonna tell OBS to pretty much record into two and four um, with the microphone and the desktop audio. Encoder is NVENC H264. The regular H264 is the built-in encoder with your CPU. Now we're not trying to use that one because we want the benefits of the good frames that the encoder of the NVIDIA GPU provides. So we're gonna have to choose NVENC H264. We're not gonna rescale anything, so leave that ticked off. Rate control CBR. Bitrate I've set to 90,000. This is the max amount of bitrate you can set to. I know NVIDIA Shadowplay has been limited with 1080p set to 50,000 megabyte a second. This is 90,000, just a little bit higher quality, but it comes at a little bit of a price of a little bit of CPU usage. So if you're scrambling for frames, you can set this a little bit lower to however you want. I have set mine to a very high quality, 90,000. Uh, preset I have set to high performance because I do need those extra frames while streaming. I did notice a difference uh, compared to the other presets. Profile main, level auto, and uh, um, use two-pass encoding. You don't have to enable that. GPU set to zero. Right. Now we're going to click on audio on top of here, and we want to tell the tracks of which audio bitrate you want to output to. Set these all to 320. If you want high-quality audio, so 320 is the one we're looking for. Now we're going to be setting up our audio. 
We're going to start off with choosing our desktop audio device. Mine is set to my Astros, which is the ones I'm using. Use your default one or use your headset that you're using. This is where you can actually set up. So TeamSpeak is outputted through a virtual audio cable as a separate audio device. So if you want to, for instance, record a third track. I personally don't use it. I don't see the need for it. For me personally, um, recording in with my microphone audio and in-game audio is quite enough. But this extra audio device allows you to output TeamSpeak audio if you've uh, configured it correctly through a virtual audio cable. Um, choose your microphone, Rode NT-USB. I've got two more microphones. Use the one you wanted to record with. Um, pretty straightforward. Now we're going to go to video. Um, base resolution is 1920 by 1080. The output, we don't want it to scale down, so keep that 1920 by 1080. Uh, we're, not, we're not downscaling, so it doesn't matter what you really set here. Um, set this to 60 FPS because we like beautiful 60 FPS. If you want to record at 30 FPS, you can record 30 there. Right, video is good, but we're going to have to set a hotkey for recording. Mine is set to F9, so if you want it to set to F9, um, click Start Recording, F9, Stop Recording, F9. Press OK. Right, so we've set up everything correctly, but we're first going to have to tell the audio to output into the right tracks. For that, we're going to click on Mixer here. And then we have the mic and the desktop audio. Now we want the desktop audio to be outputted in track two, just like we've told it with saving the file, track two, and mic audio be separated in track four. So by doing this, we've told OBS to listen to these audio sources and output those sources specifically. Right, we've set up OBS with audio, video, but we also want to compensate for the loss of gamma that you have with recording day Z. At the moment, we haven't done that yet. So we're gonna have to right click on display in order to fix this and then go to filters. Uh, we're gonna add a filter by clicking on the plus here and go to color correction. We're gonna call this gamma correction because that's exactly what we're doing with the filter. And this is where you can actually tell OBS that you're gonna, that you want the footage to pass through a filter before actually outputting it. And we're gonna be setting this to 30. I like to say that this is a little bit higher in gamma, but this allows you just a little bit more room especially in darker areas, to um, play around in your editing software a little bit. If you find that there's too much gamma on the footage, you can also you can always lower this or you can compensate this in your editing software. Okay, good to go. OBS Studio is ready. You're ready for recording. Let me show you some difference between OBS Studio footage and NVIDIA Shadow Play footage. And I'll show you some footage as well after some color correction. Oh,